Hey guys, we're going to be starting um, grade five um, envision exponents, topic three, lesson four. So with the exponents today, it is okay to go ahead and grab your calculator. So go ahead and get that. I've got my phone that I'm going to use as my calculator today. I'm going to set this off to the side. That's going to help us a little bit. Now with exponents, um, this we're going to be looking at it in greater detail. Um, you had a little bit of exponents in fourth grade, but when we're looking at exponents, it's like when you have that little number at the top. So let's say I have like five times five to the you know five times five, that would be five to the power of two. So your exponent notation is going to be that small number there at the top. So I'm just going to show you some examples and hopefully we get, um, you know, used to it. So the first one, it says to write an exponential notation. And that's like, that's like writing it like that. So the first one is 13, 13, 13. So it's 13 to the power of 3. So 13 is what you write. And then at the very top, very small, you write 3. So 13 to the power of 3, or that's also known as 13 cubed. 13 cubed. All right, for number two, how many eights do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's eight to the power of six. Now, I'm not saying eight times six. That's not right. But I have eight six times. For number three, how many 64s do I have? I have two. Now, if you have a two, you could say 64 to the power of two or 64 squared, 13 to the power of 3, or 13 cubed. So when it's squared, when it's 2, and when it's 3, it's cubed. Oops. Cubed. Sorry. I wrote B backwards, D backwards. All right, so now the next one is four. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four to the power of eight. So for the first one, we wrote it in exponential notation. The second part, they want us to write it in expanded form. Expanded form is when we blow those numbers up. Expanded form is going to look like these up here, how it's blown up. So we've got 2, and we're going to write it 5 times. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 2 to the power of 5. The next one says 20 squared. Remember, we learned that up here. If it's squared, it's to the power of 2. So 20 squared or 20 to the power of 2. Number 7, we're going to write 11 four times. 11 to the power of 4. For number 8, that's 9 cubed. Remember up here, if it's cubed, that means it's 3 to the power of 3. So 9 times 9 times 9. Oop, I messed up on number 6. That should be 20 times 20. I didn't write it in expanded form. We fixed it. Okay. Now, if it says standard form, it's asking you to write it as an answer. So they're wanting the answer, okay? So for the four, first one, it's four, one, two, three, to the power of three. So if I had my calculator, I could do four times th four times four, and the answer is 64. Let me do it again for you. Four times four times four. 64. All right. So this is standard form again. So 14 squared, 4 to the power of 2, 14 to the power of 2, 14 times 14. And standard form is going to be 14 times 14. The answer is 196. 
The next one is 6 to the power of 5. So we're going to do 6. I'm going to count them because I'll forget 6. So that's five times. Now, I always do exponents twice in the calculator, just in case I messed up. So I'm going to count them again. Six, 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 six. That's correct. Six to the power of five is 7,776. 7, All right, so the last one here, nine, one, two, three, four. 9 to the power of 4, and that's going to be 9 times 9 times 9 times 9. All right, I'm going to do it one more time to make sure I have the right answer. 9 times 9 times 9 times 9. 9 to the power of 4 is 6,561. All right, 13 says, which of these numbers written in expanded form is equal to 625? Now, here's the deal. I've got to solve all of these. And I'm the kind of math student that solves all of them, even if I don't need to, just so I can make sure, because math is always a definite answer. All right, so the first one is 5 to the power of 4. Okay, so let's solve that. Oh, let me do it again. 5, 5 is 2, it's 3, it's 4. So that's 6, 6.25, so that looks like the answer so far. All right, 5 to the power of 2, we all know that. That's 25. Okay, 5 to the power of 3, 125. And this is 5 to the power of 3, 4, 5. 5, five to the power of 5. 2, 3, 4, 5. 3,125. So which of these is equal to 625? Well, the answer is going to be A. Fourteen says, find the number equal to six raised to the second power. So six raised to the second power. Well, that's six times six. I don't need my calculator to know that is 36. Okay. All right, so 14 is a little different. It's just asking you a question. It says, explain what 14, sorry, explain what four raised to the fourth power power means. So 4 raised to the fourth power. Do you see that? That's essentially what they're asking you. 4 raised to the fourth power means this. So 4 raised to the fourth power. Oops. Power means four factors of four multiplied. So it's four factors of four multiplied. And if I were to be super duper smart, I could come over here even say and ask me to do it and solve it, make sure it's right. Two, three, four, two fifty six. Check it one more time. One, two, three, four, two fifty six. Okay. So this is three dash four exponents of grade five in vision.